Welcome to our paper, Event-Based Background-Oriented 3D event. 3D event imaging is an imaging technique that measures the density changes in transparent media without any particle settings. It is utilized to visualize air convection, for example due to the heat source, jet, or airplane, and it is useful in fluid dynamics research to detecting gas leakage. The principle of background-oriented 3D event, or BOS, is as follows. First, a fixed background pattern is prepared. If the density of the media between the background pattern and lens changes, then small fluctuations of the pattern are produced on the image plane. In frame-based BOS, this displacement due to the media inhomogeneities is related to the spatial derivative of the media density. However, frame-based setups require cameras with high speed and high spatial resolution which pose limitations in real-world applications. Achieving high shutter speeds requires a naturally bright illumination, large power consumption, and produces images with lots of redundant data. Event-based cameras are novel, bio-inspired sensors that produce asynchronous signals only when the pixel intensity changes. As these videos show, Shuliren is more directly observable with event cameras than with frame-based cameras. Compared with frame-based cameras, event cameras are more efficient in data and power, provide high dynamic range, and have minimal motion blur. To tackle the limitations of frame-based BOS, we propose event-based background-oriented 3D ren. In frame-based BOS, the displacement is measured against the reference frame, where no density changes exist, and the displacement is proportional to the spatial derivative of the media density. But in event-based BOS, the event camera just captures the changes within a short time interval. So we cannot compare with the reference frame, which is too far away from the current timestamp. So, what do we actually estimate? We demonstrate that optical flow in these short time intervals is related to the spatial temporal derivative of the media density. However, estimating optical flow of non-rigid body motion is not easy. A typical event-based motion estimation method assumes that events are generated by moving edges. In contrast, in the BOS setting, we have a background pattern transparent media between the pattern and the lens, and the light rays travel from the pattern into the image plane. The changes in media density refract the light rays and hence produce events. Here, we observe only flickering events, which happen at the contours of the background pattern. In order to overcome such a challenge, we propose a method that utilizes both events and frame data. First, we built a custom recording setup with both types of cameras which are spatially aligned using a beam splitter and temporally synchronized. In the 3D ren data, events are triggered at the contours of the background pattern. We record various sequences by controlling the luminance of the scene. Combining event and frame data, we use the linearized event generation model to estimate optical flow. The input is the events and frames, which are spatially and temporally aligned. By integrating events during a small amount of time, we obtain a brightness increment, which is our measurement. Then, we can calculate a prediction of the brightness change using the frame data. The goal is to find the optical flow that minimizes the photometric error between this measurement and prediction. As mentioned before, the optical flow here is proportional to the spatial temporal derivative of the air density. Furthermore, we reduce the complexity of the problem by parameterizing the flow using directly the temporal derivative of the air density. These are the results. On the top, we have frames and its corresponding optical flow. On the bottom, we show the events and the flow estimated by our method. This is a high dynamic range example. In low light conditions, the frames are underexposed and therefore, frame-based BOS does not work properly. Thanks to the high temporal resolution of the event cameras, we can also perform slow motion estimation. For example, we can see details at 10 times higher temporal rate than frame-based cameras. Notice that our method actually relies on frames, so the frame data has poor quality in HDR scenes, which should affect our method too. We do the ablation study to investigate the dependency on frames in the paper. Finally, we release the code as well as a new dataset with high resolution event and RGB frames under different illumination conditions. To summarize, we provide the first theoretical analysis that connects events and Schlieren in transparent media. We also propose the first method to estimate spatial temporal change of air density and demonstrate the direct measurement of Schlieren via events. In addition to these theoretical contributions, 
This work provides the first Schlieren event frame dataset, defines a benchmark for Schlieren imaging in terms of optical flow estimation, and shows high dynamic range and slow motion analysis. Thank you for watching.